previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who weave them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Stone for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger. You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there. <laughs> Jesse! They're falling behind! Actually, you gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. Can we build a portal? If somebody has the right materials. We don't. I haven't seen Obsidian since the end. We'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! Be ride. Look 
It's gaining on us. No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here. Watch it! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. build a new one, like right now. Come on, faster! We need more blocks. I got some. Yeehaw! Woo! Oh, Axel, you're screaming in my ear. Sorry. actually freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I... I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you! Uh, who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on! Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. What a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul. I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. <sighs> Magnus. For a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. All I know is he'd want us to keep fighting no matter what. And for us to keep blowing the crap out of stuff. <laughs> You're right. He would. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere. What I want to know is what happened out there today. Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is! Oh, great! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. 
Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... If they were just trapped in the Wither Storm... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know. And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you, I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. L Lucas. Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No. The number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay. I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're alright. Thanks. I'm gonna go check on the horses. <coughs> Whoa, you... Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man... If it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it... There's no way you could have known what would happen. No one's ever seen anything like this. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear. You're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. How are the horses looking? Tired, but they're okay. Same as the rest of us. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Lucas. Yeah, me too. Look, Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do.
I glad you came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? Yeah, really! You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Oh, uh, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this. Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> Sorry, Ruben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Ruben! us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. And that's what I said, isn't it? Just as you once held us before. This isn't about the past. It's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Sorry, and you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No. I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? Gabriel was gone. I didn't think it mattered. Right. Except Gabriel gave the amulet to me. 
What? I... I didn't know. Ah, uh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Soren, do you think Enderman could actually destroy one of those things? Well, it's not beyond imagination. If there were enough of them working together, it's a promising concept, at least in theory, if I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. The question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the Amulet, so if we take the Amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. But what are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh, dear. What was that? us so quickly we're not safe anywhere are we well we can't stand around and wait for it so what do we do guys i have a plan we're going to ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a ivor well i'll be it is you a pleasure as always eligard hello my name is gabriel somebody pinch me Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. There's no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. I thought you'd trust me by now. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The griefer grab? You got it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Much further? Not too much further. everyone onward that's really not necessary I'm just trying to be encouraging there yet. Oof. My rear end is profoundly sore. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Why are you so down on the Far Lands, Soren? They sound cool. See? Jesse thinks the Far Lands are cool. The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? <sighs> this isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Potato, you're coming with me. Not much, but it'll help.
like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? <laughs> Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. I, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. Entire cake. Nice. Jesse. <laughs> <gasps> Ivor? Ivor. What? I thought he was with you. I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow and raise you up. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> 